Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So um, today I would like to um, uh, give some lessons about uh, uh, how to draw the flowchart for the codes uh, that use uh, array uh, array elements or array statements. Okay. So um, what we basic basically uh, do when we write a code. Or with the array functions okay firstly we need to know how to declare and initialize the array of course okay so but some language uh, they don't need uh, some declaration or uh, specific declaration for the function but for the C and C++ uh, this one is must and then in the array you need to know how to um, uh, accessing or, or selecting the element uh, of the array means that you know uh, we need to know uh, the programmer needs to know how to uh, manipulate uh, the array uh, the content of the array uh, every each index okay so uh, the next step is need to know how to working with the multi-dimensional array because uh, array can be defined more than two dimensional array uh, or can be used uh, uh, in several uh, numbers of data for one index or, or one dimensional so uh, they're usually uh, used for the uh, matrix and uh, of database okay so let's say we have uh, for examples um, we have uh, the situation that need to 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 build the systems on uh, the database systems uh, to collect a uh, very uh, big number of students like UMP students for example okay we need to store uh, the data um, uh, dynamically or uh, uh, in different uh, in different uh, row or columns so um, it is not practical that we use uh, a single array for a single data variables so here where the uh, array can come in handy uh, whereby uh, uh, this uh, function uh, of variables uh, able to store numbers of data and uh, with uh, multi-dimensional or, or multi-index or multi-site of the index uh, of the data okay so an uh, in array usage is actually can be used at any elements of the programming uh, part which is uh, in including IOs uh, operating uh, selecting repetitive or even in function okay so but uh, the array itself uh, needs uh, I mean that uh, uh, required uh, uh, repetitive statements uh, as is as uh, its tools uh, to uh, to manipulate the array uh, content itself or to access or to to do some operating uh, uh, inside uh, the for the for the value inside the uh, the array variables and some of the situation uh, we need a uh, selection statements whereby um, uh, some uh, coding that needs uh, a selective uh, uh, index uh, to be accessed or to be operate okay so for example we have a array that i can define here is a, a array so uh, with the index of from 0 to 9 okay for uh, uh, for the encoding when we define the array the the value in the bracket is actually the value of size for this case uh, the size is 10 because uh, they start from 0 to 9 so uh, basically uh, in uh, C and C++ uh, uh, the, uh, the array index is start from zero so default is start from zero uh, but uh, some of the language uh, uh, start from one depends on the language but for the C and C++ uh, the standard is start from zero so inside here for each index uh, 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 we can put any of data for this case uh, uh, actually the a is an integer array so the data should be integers so I just put 0 to 9 for easy example uh, maybe you can put any numbers of decimal inside here so 
for one array that uh, declare array uh, should be um, should be only uh, one type of uh, variables so we cannot mix uh, uh, for one uh, for one uh, array uh, to be put uh, several type of data such as double uh, put inside the integer array so that one is not uh, is is a is a wrong syntax okay so um for the array itself they have a, a one dimensional array the basic one like this one okay this is one dimensional array with one row so they have two dimensional array which is uh, they have a one row and uh, column and multi-dimensional array they have more than several rows and columns okay so but for this um uh, for this uh, syllabus, uh, I'm only a cover for one dimensional and two dimensional array. Okay, so we go back to the 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 the, uh, the lessons. It's actually uh, uh, you need to know how the uh, you need to know the proper shape that you need to use uh, for the uh, flowchart. Okay, so what is the shape for start? For the shape for operations, input output, decisions, connectors and also the off page connectors okay uh, let's say we go to the uh, uh, first example the situation is uh, they need the software can can print six decimal number uh, as follows so at this situation the first steps of design we need to know what kind of uh, uh, array that we need to define of course, this obviously is a decimal numbers uh, because it's stated in the requirement. But uh, another one is we need to know how the numbers of iteration they need for the array's uh, space, which is uh, the size of the array. So the size it should be six because uh, in the requirement says that six num decimal numbers. So and the next uh, step, we need to know whether the requirement needs us to to operate um, uh, for each index or uh, after iterations so for this case they need to display each index of the uh, decimal numbers uh, storage okay so for the first start in flowchart we need to uh, let's say we represent some things for the array and index so for my case, I put the index as index. So the first start index should be zero, of course. So that one is the first part. And then I mix uh, the array as a, a data. So the data, the first data is a zero. Okay, data zero, which is should be displayed the first data. And then they have uh, um, uh, some, uh, they have some examine uh, operation day here so say that um, uh, should be the index um, uh, less or equal to five or you can make index less than six because the size is the six okay so uh, if the index are still uh, less or equals to a uh, five so the looping is going to be uh, need uh, need to be done by index plus by one and display on the next index okay so this this display operations is ended when the index uh, this uh, looping is will be ended when the index uh, is uh, uh, achieved uh, more than five okay so i can give here um, uh, the pseudo code for these codes and code in C okay so here uh, we only use one for to access the uh, uh, data ar uh, array names data with the size of six and with the content as given okay okay let's continue with the uh, example two so as you can see here uh, uh, the different situation where uh, the X uh, database is kind of um, a metric uh, database uh, style. Uh, 
and the um, as you can see there and uh, they have uh, 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 three times it's two metrics of X which is uh, the content or the value inside the storage is a uh, uh, barely is a decimals number okay so for the first uh, step of course we need to define uh, this kind of array when we um, deal with these situations uh, we can uh, bear in mind that we need a more uh, dimensional uh, array uh, for this case is two dimensional array uh, which is uh, uh, three times two array of course and next we need to know uh, the iteration that we, we, we will program for to access the uh, array which is uh, obviously uh, de uh, depends on the size of the uh, matrix which is three times two and then we need to have a one uh, loop for uh, three iteration three iteration and one loop for two iterations okay so uh, the next uh, requirement as we can see here they needs to uh, to to uh, to display every each uh, uh, value of the um, of the x uh, ma uh, matrix uh, data okay so we go to straight away to uh, um, uh, drawing okay first part as usual we need to put start and uh, the first declarations the first setting of the index will be zero zero for i and g and the uh, the condition or the loop that we need to create is two layers uh two layers of looping which is one is outer looping for the tree uh, and well, for the eye with with the size of three and the inner loops with the j uh, with the size of two so the condition should be less than three and less than two respectively okay so for the case uh of the first display should be I zero and J zero. So um, as you can see here, if the I and J is zero, so these conditions can bypass uh, these uh, both uh, loop conditions, which is uh, can uh, straightly display for the X index of zero zero here. And then, okay, as you can see here, uh, uh, the, the 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 systems the system or the coding should settle down for the j index uh, column first okay let's say uh, 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 the the iteration should be settled for the case of j and then after settle settle down the case of j and then then goes back to the um, to the uh, to the index i which is index i will be the outer loop of this uh, outer loop of the coding okay so the operation should uh, should be settled down by uh, with the j let's say we have a, a x zero here a j zero and then the next looping should display the x zero um, zero one and so on okay so uh, as you can see here uh, uh, when they are settled down this the j uh, when j condition uh, reach the uh, the two so uh, the looping operation for this uh, hidden loop will be come out and go back to the outer loop so the outer loop will increase by one the index will increase by one so it's become the the, the next uh, situation will be x1 zero so the operation should be should be continued as usual until uh, the outer loop index i achieve uh, three value okay so when they achieve the two three value so uh, the, the 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 coding or the uh, or the uh, system uh, operation will be terminated okay so this is a, a example for the pseudocode and, and code in C++ and as a, 
And so summary, I can say here that the, the, the first loop, as you can see here, the first loop for the I, uh, zero, um, okay, the first loop uh, for the, so I go to the inner loop at first. Let's see, we have a, uh, the first loop will be uh, zero and second loop will be one and when j is equal to two uh, the, the 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 operation will come out from the loop and go goes to the outer loop here and then the outer loop will will continue with the next uh, uh, plus one index and until it achieve the conditions uh, which is uh, the maximum of the condition then uh, will come out from the uh, outer loop and for this case uh, the, the, the programming should be terminated okay thank you very much for the listening I hope uh, this will help you to uh, design your own uh, uh, flowchart or your own on paper design uh, for the case of code that using the uh, array function thank you